What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and no we didn't just jump back to 2008 here. What you're watching is some PlayStation 3 Dirt Eyes and Jack gameplay. And before we get too far into it, a huge shout out to my new friend Codename Pizza here. He's the one that supplied me with this gameplay. I myself don't have a PlayStation 3 and even still, I don't think that I would buy Call of Duty Black Ops 3 once again and then the DLC on top of it. So massive shout out to him. All his links will be down there in the description below. He was a true homie and hooked this up here for us. So what we're going to be talking about talking about today is the DLC on PlayStation 3. If you guys do have a PlayStation 3 and have not upgraded to a PS4 and are thinking about maybe getting the DLC here but you're not entirely sure what it'll play like, here's a little bit of an example of what you can expect here with this as well as if you're on Xbox 360 and you want to get the DLC later down the line when it comes there, assuming it does, this is also something you can take into consideration and maybe use this as a reference point even to see if you actually want to spend the 15 bucks on the DLC or not. But all in all, I want to say first and foremost that there are some parts that are actually decent and then some parts of this footage that are just like, why is this a thing? I honestly thought that overall it would be 99% of it would look like Lara Croft Tomb Raider. I always make that reference here to this on Last Generation because the graphical textures are just so low quality here. But honestly, some of this stuff in Horizon Drag does seem and apparently play just like the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC counterparts here, such as the zero gravity in the pyramid room. But a lot of things also don't necessarily at the same time. Just things like from the graphical textures of Gobble Gum to maybe how the zombies attract to you. That's stuff that really is all needed to be taken into consideration, but nonetheless, it is something that with the hardware limitations of last generation, this is the best that they could do. Now within this gameplay, I'll try and showcase a little bit of everything that I can so you get a good chunk of pretty much everything that is laid out in this gameplay from the pack-a-punch to the bows to the final boss, so that you can really get a little bit of a feel of everything that you can anticipate here with this if you are on last generation or if for some reason you have the current generation consoles as well as the last generation and decide you know what I think that I'm going to buy the DLC on PlayStation 3 as well if that actually is the case and you're thinking that and once I end up getting it the only downside really to this in terms of being able to go back to last generation here is that you have to pay for it again it's not one of those things where if you have the season pass on current generation that it automatically transfers back to last generation you have to go back and actually buy it once again again here for PlayStation 3 that's going to cost you 15 bucks is the DLC price here so it's really all up to you if you decide it is worth it or not whether or not you want to make some videos on it like your content creator or you just want to give it a shot to see how it plays for yourself that's really all up to you but I'll try and showcase once again everything here within this video for you guys the camos and pack-a-punch stuff doesn't necessarily look like the worst it almost looks like the graphical textures of the very first versions of dark matter if you guys remember what that looked like it was almost like a little bit more chunky and blocky though obviously the resolutions were a little bit better here than PlayStation 3's version of it but it almost reminds me of that where it's not as vibrant and that has the flowing effect within it so that's something that kind of stinks but I mean it's once again for last generation it's not honestly the biggest deal but the thing that really gets me here with this gameplay and with a lot of the other gameplay you'll see around YouTube perhaps is that this is actually the brightest that it can get within PS3 so this is pretty dark current generation does seem darker but it also because the colors are more vibrant it also is brighter in the same sense but this one just looks kind of dull and drab and dark overall and it's a little bit too dark for my own personal liking this is once again the brightest setting that you can get on it so anything lower and it's gonna look even worse but you can't get anything higher than this now of course obviously the biggest thing that bothers me is the fact that it's not 60 frames per second you might notice that from the video setting here if you watch my videos in 1080 60 this is only gonna be in 1080p rather than 60 frames per second it is 30 frames simply because well the game doesn't support 60 frames per second on last generation consoles. so that kind of sucks and something that is really the probably the biggest hindrance of why I wouldn't even want to consider getting this for myself just because I've been spoiled by 60 frames per second gameplay we've had 60 frames per second now for a couple of years actually maybe even a lot I couldn't say the last time the Call of Duty has been 30 frames per second right off the top of my head but regardless it's 30 frames per second in 2016 definitely not what gamers want to see here within Call of Duty or any other game let alone so that's one of the biggest things that bothers me as well but overall if you can get past that kind of stuff I guess this isn't the worst game 
play that you can see. I don't know. That's really all up for you guys to decide and why I'll showcase it here for you guys. But I think that's where we're going to wrap this video up here to date, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. I would truly love to hear what you guys have to say, whether it be some nice things or you're just completely cut up on this gameplay. I personally don't care. I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below on this last generation footage here. Once again, massive, massive shout out to my new friend, Codename Pizza, here for this gameplay. Definitely go check him out. His channel is absolutely awesome. He's actually blowing up right now. Recently hit 100K over on his channel. He's a great dude. So seriously, go check him out. Definitely really deserves it. Anybody that helps me out, I seriously feel greatly indebted to them for this. So go check him out. He's awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, be sure to like rank down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 30,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help and is, as always, greatly appreciated. And if you guys maybe want to see maybe the Easter egg ending cutscene, let me know about that down there in the comment section down below as well. Try and get you guys that here on Last Generation. We can make a little bit of fun of that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.